Something really simple that you guys have asked me to make a tutorial on is how do I switch between my displays on my OBS? How do I go from my main monitor to my other monitor, then to my song request, and then to my game capture? Tonight I'm going to teach you guys exactly how I do that and how to do the fancy glitch transition that happens when I switch between them. Let's go. How's it going guys? Hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is DeSyncry. One of the things that I've had on my channel for such a long time that's been super convenient is the ability to switch between these plays at the click of a button. I can easily go from my main monitor to my song requests to my games at the click of a button. It's super, super convenient. Guys, if this video ends up helping you in any way, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Also, share it around with your streamer friends so they can learn something new too. This is such a simple and easy thing to do, so let's get right into creating this. We're gonna be doing three things today. We're gonna be setting up our scene and our sources. We're gonna be adding a little transition for when you switch from one to the other. And then we're gonna make it so we can switch between the screens with either our stream deck or our touch portal. And by the way, guys, the little transitions are going to be available on my Discord. If you guys want to use those, we have two versions of it. We have one with a very low volume, so it doesn't blast your viewers' ears, and one that's completely muted. Whilst you're there, grab yourself some of the other goodies that I'm giving out. It's my little gift from me to you, because I'm just a really nice guy. Tips for Dora. So what do we need in order to be able to achieve this? There's only one tiny, tiny thing that we need, and you don't even need to close your OBS to install this. We'll need Exeldroy's source toggle script. Head over to the link on the description for that and download that little script. What this little script is going to do, it's going to automatically deactivate every other source within the scene or group of your choosing, making it so only one source can be active at a time. To install this, it's super, super simple. All you have to do is come over to your OBS, go over to tools, click on script and then click the plus button on loaded scripts and look for where you have it downloaded. Awesome, let's start creating this thing. This is how I do it. All right, so first let's make a new scene on our OBS. For the sake of keeping track of things, we're gonna call this displays. Next, let's make two display captures and one image. You guys don't have to make this exact scene. I'm just doing these as an example. What's next? Head over to tools, go down to scripts, where it says scenes and groups, click the plus and add our displays scene in it. Now, if we go back to our scene and we turn on any of these, you'll see that the other ones will automatically turn off. Only one can be active at a time now. Now let's add it to our gameplay scene. Let's make a new scene and call it gameplay. We'll just add our basic webcam to it. Now, instead of us adding the display capture source, we're actually going to be going over here and adding the scene. And then we're gonna be adding the display scenes that we have. Now, anything that we do to our display scenes will also take effect over here. So if we go back to it and we switch the image, as you can see, it will automatically update it here. Cool, that's the first part of it done. Let's add some transitions to this. So adding transitions to your sources is super, super easy. All you gotta do is go back to your displays, right click the source that you want, and go to show transition. And then you have a selection of transitions that you can choose from. We're gonna go with Stinger and we're going to be adding a custom one. For this, I'm gonna be using the glitch transition that I gave to you guys. <laughs> Change the time from milliseconds to frame, set it as 20 frames. And then if you want to listen to it, change audio monitoring from monitor off to monitor and output and click OK. Then for my high transition, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but instead we're going to be using the muted one. Change this to frames, 20 frames. You don't really need to change the audio monitoring on this one because it's already muted. Then all you gotta do is repeat this process on the other sources. Now check this out. Every time you turn on another source, it automatically plays the animation. And the same thing applies if we happen to be in our gameplay scene. All right, now let's add it to both our stream decks and our touch portal. This is honestly the easiest part. On your stream deck software, simply add the source buttons and then link it to each of the source. All you have to do afterwards is simply activate them. On touch portal, click on an empty space, give it a name, leave it on unpressed. Then head over to add actions, look for source visibility, change it to show, for scene, displays, and choose the one. Then hit save. Then make another two buttons for the other two screens. And when you press the button on your touch portal, it'll change the screen. Easy, right? 
Not gonna go too deep into this, but this is not limited to just your displays. If you have multiple cameras, this works perfectly with that too. So that's it. That's how you can switch between your displays and have a little transition, kind of like how I do. I hope this video helped you enhance your streams a little bit and teach you how to do some cool things on your OBS. Let me know down in the comments if I helped. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way, shape or form. If you have any questions and want to learn more, come check us out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesdays and Friday starting at 4 p.m. Australia West Standard Time. I'd love to see you there. That's all for this video, friends. I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream. Catch y'all later.